unfortunately almost doesn't count. The Nampa School District learned that on election night after a $12 million levy failed to pass. The difference, just 11 votes. Our Shira Matsuzawa talked to school district officials today about what they're going to do now. Shira. Tammy, the school board met last night to figure that out. A district spokesperson tells me they're going to listen to the community first before deciding their next steps. The levy failed by 11 votes, which was really discouraging for all of us. It's been a little more than a week since voters in Nampa went to the polls. They were asked to approve or reject a $12 million supplemental levy that would go towards schools in the district. Being 11 votes short is, is really hard, but it also tells us that when we don't have a wide disparity there, and so we do have a lot of people who do support it, and we'd like to find out um, why those who didn't support it, what their concerns were. Right now, the Nampa School District says they aren't asking for a recount. The thought is that the process isn't broken, and so most likely that count was accurate, and it's just a heartbreaking result. Nampa School District spokesperson Kathleen Tuck says instead they'll hold listening sessions for the public to attend. What they would like to do is get a better idea of why it failed. So what are patrons thinking? Is it a matter of not communicating well enough and having some confusion out there? Or do people have concerns about specific things on the levy? Or are they concerned about the amount of money on the levy? The levy would have gone towards supporting teacher salaries, curriculum, technology, and school building upgrades and repairs. But the school district still has time before deciding what to do next. We have a levy in place that doesn't expire till the end of June. There is a possibility that we can go out for another levy because unfortunately those are real needs. If for some reason we weren't able to run another levy or it didn't pass, then we would have to look at making some cuts and it would be you know, very difficult. The school district's decision to hold listening sessions comes just days after a Nampa roofer offered to donate his time and materials to fix some of the school roofs. Unfortunately, when it comes to a big project like our high school roofs, um, there's, there's a whole lot of things to consider. And this gentleman, you know, was very generous, but he only has a limited amount of money to put toward it and his time. And so really it would be a Band-Aid that wouldn't solve the problem and might actually cause more work down the road. And so what we want to do is make sure that these repairs are done properly. Now the school district says that they're hoping to conduct these listening sessions before the school board meeting on December 10th. They're still trying to figure out the exact times, but if you aren't able to attend, you can always uh, submit your comments online as well. Well, this story sure tells you that every vote counts, doesn't it? Absolutely. 11 votes. 11 votes, yeah. Yeah, a friend of mine is a teacher in the Nampa School District. She was devastated. I'm sure a lot of people were over yeah. there. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Shira. Mm -hmm.